Well, unfortunately, the wood for this little fire isn't very dry at all. We've had about two or three days where we've had really heavy rain each day. So I'm having a bit of a job getting a, a plenty of heat here to cook this steak. But it's getting there, and I'm really looking forward to eating it. Hopefully it'll have a little bit of the wood smokiness flavour to it as well. This is only the second or third time I've used this little sectional stove. It's not warped at all. Obviously it's dirty with the smoke and so on. It's got holes in all the right places. And when the wood's dry, you can get a lot of heat going from one of these little things. I'll bring you the camera in, let you have a closer look, and you'll be able to see how the flames are really being forced upwards. For the price, which I think was... Oh God, I can't remember how much it was. I bought it a few months ago. I'll put the link to it in the video description. I think I got this one on Amazon. Um, but it's a very, very good little stove. Now that wood is not very dry, as I said before, but there's plenty of heat coming out there now. Now this stuff that I'm putting on is actually an American product from Texas called Suckle Busters. Peach barbecue sauce. And it's absolutely lovely with steak. I'm not going to sing its praises here, but again, I'll put a link to that in the video description. That'll only be for the US viewers, though. Because at the moment, unless you subscribe to the box, which is like a barbecue box, a monthly thing, you won't get it in the UK, unfortunately. That stove's doing a cracking job. I'm thinking it's still smoky, you know, I'm still getting smoke in my eyes. That's just actually coming off the steak and the sauce. That's what's creating all the smoke. Look at that. I would pretty much call that smokeless, even with that wet wood. Look at that. Is that just a vision of beauty? Awesome. Well, for a change, I haven't overcooked this. Normally I overcook them. This is just succulent, and moist, sweet, spicy. Mm -hmm. and I could have gone through exactly that same process in the house, in a frying pan, and it wouldn't taste half as good as it does cooking on a, on a fire. I don't know why, because it's pretty much exactly the same but it must get infused with the smokiness somehow. Now onto the main reason why I'm making this video, and that's to put across to you guys out there uh, an idea that I've got. And I think it's a pretty good one. It'll help a lot of viewers, and it'll also help a lot of different channels as well. I know there's a lot of channels out there doing very, very good instructional videos, review videos, camping videos, bushcraft survival, fishing videos, shooting videos, animal ID videos, basically all those areas of our hobby that we love to participate in. Some of us may be very good at one thing, other people might be very good at another thing. Nobody's an expert in everything. And what I would like to do is bring people with specialist knowledge together and produce a video series which would go out, I'm thinking monthly maybe, depends how many submissions I get. But the idea is basically this. You do a video between, I don't know, 30 seconds and five minutes long on anything outdoorsy. Anything that you think people watching your channel might like. So if you're particularly good at gathering natural tinders or tracking animals or something, just make a short video about that. Upload it to your channel as an unlisted video. Send me the link, I'll download it. I'll put them all into one big video which might be 20 minutes long, might be half an hour long, might be an hour long. Depends how many submissions I get. I'll then upload that fully edited video on my channel as unlisted. Anybody who's participated can download that video and we all put it out on our channels on the same day. Video description will have timestamps in. You might have, I don't know, the proper way to get into a canoe as the first video, that would be 30 seconds in or something. So you'd click that, you'd go straight to there. 10 minutes in, you might have somebody building a very quick survival shelter in Woodland. So you'd look in the video description, building a survival shelter, you'd click that, you'd go straight there. And the video description would also have direct links to everybody's channel, 
who had participated in the video. There's nothing stopping you submitting loads of videos and being in every edition, but let me know what you think of that idea. Basically, to come together, produce really good videos that are very educational and it'll help the viewer, but will also help the channels of those people who have participated in the video. Now, I did do a similar series of videos a few years ago, and that was um, targeted towards metal detecting. Basically, people just showed off their various finds from around the world, and that worked really well, had a very good response, and it helped out the channels of everybody who was involved. I'd really, really love to be involved in bringing the same sort of thing to everybody who's making outdoor videos as well. Now, don't for one minute think that you need to go out and spend hours and hours and hours on this. Even if you've got old videos with, say, I don't know, a, a section in where you're lighting a fire and it's really wet and you, you, know, you, you finally get there in the end, send me the link for that, put that up, you know. That will help other people. Basically, I just want videos that'll help other people or make them aware of the various products that are available because there's so many now. I mean, I do review videos on my channel. I know a lot of you guys do as well. Some people don't like them at all. You know, they don't subscribe if a channel does any reviews, but I actually think it's pretty important to get those products out there and to be either recommended or not recommended by people who have actually used them. Because you do see so many reviews on YouTube and you know for a fact that the people haven't used the products at all. I want folks who use the products, even if you've got something that you've used for 10 years, do a review on that. You know, if it's lasted 10 years as part of an outdoor lifestyle, then it's done pretty well and other people should know about that. So in a nutshell, I'm looking to produce a series of videos with your help, uh, which will also help you and help your viewers, which will have a great big long video description with all the timestamps so people can jump to different parts of the video and it'll have links to all the channels of the people who participate it'll have links to all the products it'll just bring everything into one place let me know what you think because i'm ex i'm excited like i'm i'm really excited you know so please let me know what you think in the comments below so i'll put my email address and also my telephone number in the video description Email me or phone me whenever you want if you're interested in being a part of this project. I'm sure once the first one goes out, there'll be a lot of people who'll be interested in this project. So if you want to be on the first one, let me know.